What is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking in my new SOG Ninja Day Pack. Stay tuned. I wanted to take a moment to greet everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and welcome to 411 Outdoors. My name is Daniel Irvin. This is a fairly new channel. I started it about six months ago in dedication to outdoor enthusiasts, just like myself who love everything from weapons to survival, outdoor adventure, and everything outdoors. If you find this channel helpful, positive, uplifting, fun, entertaining, any of those things, I'd be super excited to have you as a subscriber. Just don't forget to click the bell because I'm gonna keep the content coming. Now let's get started. This video is gonna be more of a show and tell than it is a review. I haven't really used this and gone out with it, so I can't review it. And to be straightforward, I don't need to review something like this. I can look at it and tell it's gonna be everything that I need. I've been in the market for a smaller day pack. I only have a large backpack. I've got a, a pack that I can use if I wanna go on an extended trip, but I typically don't walk around with a pack if I'm you know, here in my woods or somewhere local on a trail, but it's kind of crazy. You need a, you need a pack, you need a place to, to have things, to have things available. And it just makes life so much easier, you know, when you're out on the trails. I was walking around last week in Dunham Sporting Goods. You can buy this online, Amazon, anywhere you want, but they had this thing marked down from like eh, 50 bucks to I want to say 35. I picked it up immediately. I like the look of it. I think they have this in black and army green. In a minute, I'm gonna, you know, turn this camera around, let you get a close look at this thing. This is most definitely a tactical backpack. You know, it's weapons, knives, guns, whatever you need to take, whatever's going on, you know, ultimately what it's meant for. But this is gonna be a great companion when I'm out hiking, going out for half a day or a day. I wanted to give you a chance to take a closer look at this pack. You can see all the compartments that it's got, just a ton of compartments, uh, things to, you know, things to hang stuff on. You know, side compartment, uh, adjustable strap that, you know, connects in the front like this. You'll see it because I'm going to put it on. Uh, just a lot of compartments. You know how it goes. These things are awesome. This thing looks really cool, too. It's perfect. I, I think it's a, just everything I was looking for, so I'm, I'm pretty pumped to have it. Got, it. got a good price on it as well. I'm going to be taking a little trip down to the creek. I'm going to be loading up my safety glasses, my Scout XT, my rock chuck and slingshot. I've got some clay ammo there. I'll be shooting some stones when I get to the creek. I've got a little plinker that I'm taking with me, and I'll be taking my first aid kit with me. You know, so often I've gone out and not had something like this with me. It's so important. I took a pretty heavy blow to the hand a couple of weeks ago throwing knives, and it was convenient for me to run upstairs and grab a napkin and stop the bleeding. But, you know, when you're out in the wild and you get injured, it's so easy to forget about how much you need something like this. It just tells you on the back what all is in here. So I'm pretty pumped I'll be taking this with me every time I go out. All right, my friends, what do you think? I'm all strapped up and ready to go. I feel pumped, this thing. You can adjust it in the front. I had to pull mine out a pretty good ways. It was pretty tight. I like the way this feels. This is just what I was looking for. Got my sidearm with me, got my walking stick, got my slingshot gear and first aid kit. Let's roll leaving my little camp area here. There's two ways I can get to the creek, about a quarter of a mile behind my house. Not too far. I mean, I'm packing up like I'm getting ready to go on a massive hike, but I'm really just taking a little, little short trip. Nevertheless, it's good to have the pack. Beautiful day, the leaves are turning. Would have turned a little sooner, but it's been warm. It's been a warm fall here in Virginia, unseasonably warm. There's a trail inside these woods right here that I can take. If you watch my Scout XT review, I took that trail <clears throat> in that video. Today, I'm just walking along the side of the woods here because I'm going to a, a different place at the creek to, to set up and shoot. This is another trail on the other side of the field, opposite side that I went the other day. It's fun to get away and shoot. I'm moving away from the creek down there to another site. Right now there's just leaves everywhere. It hasn't really gotten cool yet and we haven't had that good rain to wash away the leaves and make the creek look busty again. It really looks great in the late fall and winter and early spring. On top of it all the creeks are really dry. We haven't had much rain as of late so it's just kind of weak. 
I haven't been to the creek much in the last couple of months, only since, you know, filming these videos and kind of wanting to take the filming spot to some different locations other than just filming in my campsite all the time. Let's crack off a few shots here on this trail. I know you need to use safety glasses when you're shooting a slingshot. Man. It's warm like this. These things are fogging up, getting on my nerves. All right, time to load up and get out. I love this little pack. It gets the job done. It's exactly what I was looking for. But I'm gonna get out of here because a storm's coming. I don't wanna get caught in the middle of it. I'm hoping it'll cool things down a little bit. It has been a warm fall. I know some of you summer lovers out there love for that heat to hang on, but man, it's the humidity that I hate so much. It's not even warm temperatures. It's the humidity, it's the swampy temperatures that drive me nuts, man. And I am ready for some crisp 65 degree days for a while, even cooler. I like cooler temperatures. You know, by the end of winter, I'm done with winter too. I like four seasons. That's what I love about the area I live in. We typically get four seasons and I'm all about the seasons, but man, when we get to the end of each season, I'm so ready for the next one. Anyway, I love this pack. I enjoy getting out and uh, being able to shoot my Scout XT a little bit more. I'm blessed to have all these trails around here. It's a great place to just get out and enjoy some quiet. And that's what I wanted to do today. Um, I appreciate you watching these videos. I appreciate all of your comments. I appreciate some of the kind feedback that so many of you have given me in this launch phase of my channel. I'm excited about the days ahead. And I appreciate you more than you know. Have a great rest of the day.